managed to get the uh, radiation suit um, so we're going to be able to go back towards the Aurora and actually uh, have a look and see what we've got going on there um, so I think I'll probably do that to begin with I did notice that oh that's the wrong button that we now can build the habitat builder in here uh, which is a wire kit computer chip and battery all things I think which our uh, table coral sample too I think we can get that quite easily actually to be fair we've got gold um, yeah so we could probably do that but I think I'm gonna head to the Aurora first um, I was thinking of actually making sure my inventory is clear before we go um, maybe just stocking up on food and, and stuff like that uh, I don't know if these lockers can be like destroyed or anything like that but we seem to have quite a lot of water to be fair probably um, just need some food I think so let's just go catch some fishies Catch that one. We can catch you. There you go. Whole fish. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Giant coral tubes. Is that table coral sample? Coral tube sample. Uh, okay, we've got a peep out. I'm probably like one more, I should imagine, would probably do us. Uh, there we go. Cool. So, I hope you guys are all doing very well. I'm really enjoying Subnautica. I was really like up for playing this today. I was like, yeah, I'm going to record like, a couple of sessions, get some progress going, because I know there's so many interesting things to discover in this game that I've never seen before. So, um, that should be pretty cool. Let's cook this bee butt. And let's cook this bladderfish. Let's eat them. There we go. We can actually over 100 on that. Interesting. Might as well take that and get us up to 100 just in case. We'll take another one. And we might as well head out towards the Aurora, which is this way. Yeah. Uh, and of course we can use the Sea Glide to get us there a lot quicker. Um, yeah, there's so many like interesting biomes to discover and stuff like that. I haven't really spoiled anything for myself. I've seen a couple of like comments here and there and you know stuff like that. But I've kind of generally wanted to say, spoiler free, there might be a point where I actually do. Um, oh, okay. Well, that that was uh, <laughs> unexpected. We ran out of power. I can like put new battery in. I think you know, I could use that as a weapon, but I can't apparently. Oh, we need our scanner. That should be one. There we go. Just in case there's anything we can scan, but that's fine. We can, uh. There's a little forklift truck, that's cute. Yeah, we can, uh. We can swim there, I think, fine, to be fair. Oh, it's like a. Oh, it's a, it's a garbage bin. salvage some metal along the way. I don't know if there'll be anything else we can salvage. We can always uh, have a look, can't we? Let's just check we're heading the right way. Oh, that would appear to be the Aurora over here. So what I'm thinking is we will find in here some um, uh, like what's it called? Um, find some wreckage and stuff like that which we can scan and uh, do that kind of thing but we also will probably find something really bad that we want to avoid so we could have bear that in mind I think as well um, I also appear to have lost sound which is not really very good what's that in there propulsion cannon fragment see these things are useful uh, yeah, I don't know why I've lost sound actually. That's really weird. Um, let me just check that quickly. Um, that's super weird. <laughs> uh, I've got everything set up properly. Uh, I think 
that sound and then the sound just went I think it might be just the game just went okay well I'll carry on anyway but bear in mind I don't have any sound I don't know if you guys will uh, I mean you will from my voice obviously but you might not from uh, the uh, game it's going to make things slightly difficult because I won't be able to hear like warnings and stuff like that but we'll persevere we will persevere Still five oxygens. Well, that looks like something. That's a desk. Talk. Awesome. Okay. Now, as far as I'm aware, you can't actually get into the Aurora or anything like that. It's just the outside, like salvage and stuff like that, which you can um, kind of have a look at. Um, how interesting. There's something down there. That's the first aid kit. That does not really seem that useful, to be fair. Let's go up and get some oxygen. I've got to keep an eye on that because obviously I'm not going to get the, uh, the warnings as I've just randomly got sound. Which is weird. That's never actually happened in the game before. So. It's just a shame I like the uh, watery sounds. The hell's that thing? A shuttle book. Well, thankfully it's staying in the same place. So I can scan it. Oh, I've got sound again. That's so weird. I had no idea why I did that. Oh, this might be another one of that propulsion kind of thing. Okay, great. So, you know what? I've got one blueprint. I think I'm going to head back now. We might start working on that. I don't know what the propulsion cannon is. I don't know if it's a weapon or if it's something like to move you. exciting. 
Okay. Warps gravity to pull and push objects. Okay, interesting. A beacon. Yeah, as I said, the beacon. Very useful. So, mobile vehicle bay. Ah, oh, it's because we still need to scan the mobile vehicle bay. Alright. Um, so, what do we think is more important now? The mobile vehicle bay or the habitat builder? I think we could go for the habitat builder. So, we need a wiring kit. Uh, wiring kit is silver or times two. Do we have any silver? We got salt. No, we got one gold. Um, plenty of like metal. To be fair, which I can. Might as well just make into titanium now. Um, the other wiring kits we need. A uh, habitat builder, computer chip, and a battery. Batteries, acid, mushroom, copper ore. We could make that. Uh, oh, we don't have any copper. That's interesting. I might do in my little uh, things here. No. Uh, we've got acid mushrooms, so I need some copper. Um, yeah. I don't really fancy exploring at night. It's difficult to see. I mean, that's obviously the point, but, <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll go and have a look anyway around, see if I can just spot some copper. So like someone's having a bit of a ruckus over there. Things. There's a lot of 
what's in here, but we don't really need quartz, so that's a module. There's some copper. How much copper, uh, how much inventory space do I have? Okay. So, let's see, 
how far down we can go. So um, you can kind of 
of see like it's very kind of Minecraft in so much as it's like okay explore get this stuff that allows you to build more things allows you to get better stuff which allows you to build better stuff uh, but it's just that I love the like the area as it were it's, it's very cool so we need the wiring kit which we can now build We store stuff in there, it counts. That's cool. Let's build that. The builder tool is to what do we need for that? A wiring kit, a battery, and titanium. So, ingredients unknown. Oh, no, oh no, we built a sea guide. So, I'm wondering what we need to do to unlock the mobile vehicle bay. We just looked that up quickly. I don't think it's cheap. You might think it's cheating. Um, uh, okay, Subnautica Mobile Vehicle Bay. If, uh, if it's because I don't want to just go around scanning if it's not, if that's not what you do. Okay, it is. You need to scan three fragments to obtain the blueprints. Okay, so we'll have to go out and do that, I guess. Uh, but not before we deploy our little habitat tool, I guess. Um, that's interesting. Where's our habitat builder there? Uh, and this is what you can build. So you can build like a base. Got a bioreactor. Trash can, sign desk, exterior modules, air pump, solar panel. Oh, yes. Cool. I don't think I'm going to play around with this too much today, but perhaps on the next episode we'll get into some base building because I want to try and get this mobile vehicle bay up and running. Um, so I think we'll actually... Oh, we can't pop that in there. I think I want to get my original plan, which was the air pump, and, uh, and go along with that. So I think we're going to take these, and then we can put the salt in there. Um, I kind of need a battery for this, I guess, don't I? Like, it'll be a pain if we don't have that. Which is, I need two acid mushrooms. Okay, well, that's very simple to get. Apparently they are not there, <laughs> but there. Okay. I've just got so much titanium, haven't I? I guess that's good, especially if we're going to be building a base. We want to have a lot of titanium. Uh, I've got lots of bleach. Not 
as they run away from me. Pick up a peeper. There's a whole giant chunk over there. Big salt deposit. 
Okay, let's get some air. Ah, there we go. So that's 100 meters. Okay, we need this thing to uh, get ourselves back up, don't we? I've lost sound again. <laughs> it's so weird, I don't know why. Uh, okay. I'm just thinking because like cave systems are obviously the best thing to to use. It looks like it could be something over there, so this might not be the worst area in the world uh, to kind of explore. So let's get the um, the pump out. Maybe we should go up to the top and then we can get some some tube in.
very nicely. Those little biters. 
guys can get out of it. Okay, now I guess I can actually kind of physically explore this a little bit better. Because hopefully this will have me some blueprints. It's getting dark now as well, which is not really very good. Okay. We did kind of explore this last time, but um, I don't know how thorough we were because we didn't really have access to that much stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little box up here. Anything in here? Laser cutter. Ooh. Well, that is interesting. Laser cutter. It's quartz. Don't really need that right now. Nothing in there. Another little box down here as well. Thank you so much for watching as usual. It's been my pleasure and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.